morning tonight with Cassidy. Happy Wednesday, or as we like to call it, Weird Wednesday. Normally, in this spot on Wednesday, you may see our chief, res chief meteorologist, AKA resident weird expert, Matt Zafino, but today, our resident weird expert in training, Mr. Dan Haggerty. And this is new for me because I'm relatively new to town and Zafino right. is so good at it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try my best. But I kind of like that it's it's a nice, you know, juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got Zafino who's been here a long time and you're new. So this, maybe Portland seems extra weird to you. Fresh eyes. Well, I'm pretty weird. People might not understand that about me seeing me read the news, but I'm I'm pretty weird. So I can get down He's with this very stuff. very weird. Did yeah. you see him pogo sticking on the <laughs> toy drive promo can, in December? I can pogo stick surprisingly and oddly well. And juggle all the talents. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so first we're getting to, I think, our, so this is our segment we call That Is So Portland, where you guys send us the weird, crazy, unique, interesting, very Portland things you've seen on the internet. The first one comes from me, because <laughs> you may see, I'm talking a lot with my hands today. My nails, you could call them a little weird. They're definitely unique, definitely a little bit crazy. They were done on our show last night. And uh, I think we have a little video of me attempting something with these nails. Cam. Do I just try to get my finger? Do I wow. try to get nail? I gotta get. So something. now you couldn't use the nail there to pop it off. I didn't know. The, the lovely ladies told me oh God. to use the side, not the end of the nail. But it really felt like I was gonna rip off my finger. What are the other challenging things? Typing has to be odd. How about you typing? Your phone? If I have sent you an email today, you should feel honored so because it took me ten minutes. <laughs> getting dressed, getting my shoes on today, that was a struggle. No one was there to help. Um, it was tough. That's why I popped mine off. I couldn't take yeah, it. You t just yeah, for the for show, you, right? For the show, I take them off because I got stuff to do. Just I can't. before, during the day, he has super long. They're beautiful. The do you do them who, yourself? The woman who put your nails on uh -huh. yesterday, because <laughs> yours, look, they're about an inch long. Hers were like three inches long, and the whole time. I'm looking, I'm going, how does she function? How can she do stuff? But she's a pro. I'm, I'm, I'm not. And her name is Indo. You can see her at the uh, Portland Design Week next Thursday night. And her Instagram is Duco Tips. That's you can have. This is your Duco Tips. OK, so that was my, my weird thing. Yes, here's your close up <laughs> on my beautiful nails. I really, like I feel like a classy, glorious lady. I so like now them. let's see what, el what other weird things people are doing in, in the Portland world of the Internet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this one comes from one of our producers, Megan Johnson. Look at this squirrel. Is that a pizza piece of pizza? Uh-huh. Sitting on a fence, eating a piece of pizza. Was, so, if I remember, wasn't there like a pizza rat in New York? Yes, exactly. Okay, so this is our version, but this is pizza squirrel. Yeah, so Megan says, much like the subway rats of New York, Portland squirrels also love a slice. There you go. Where it, do it, you think it was from? Like, which pizza place? I'm not sure, and this squirrel doesn't know what he's doing because he's going crust first and everybody knows you don't go crust first oh. only, only a madman goes crust first what if um, i told you I, I, you go crust yeah. first because the crust is my least favorite part so i like to save the best parts till the last so i eat the crust <laughs> i literally rip off the crust eat that and then i eat the rest of it that makes no sense oh gosh. whatsoever <sighs> at all my new new ish co-worker now is judging me We're not even about. silently we're gonna have to talk <laughs> you're never invited even. back as <laughs> We'll talk after the show. I, we, I'm gonna, I'll set you straight on the mm -hmm. pizza eating. Great. We, if we had some pizza. Okay, what is next? What kind of crazy things? You know, we also scoured your Instagram, Dan. I was trying to find something super oh. Portlandy, but, you know, so far you're still kind of new, so we haven't found anything crazy. This, though, something not just free. You know how sometimes you're on your street and there's something for free? This is extremely free. That's, you can't get any freer than that. I, sh I wish I'd have known about it. You know, my wife and I, we have a five-year anniversary coming up. <gasps> five years. Happy anniversary. Wood, wood oh. is what, you know, because each year kind of has a, something that goes along with it. It's wood. I could have, that could have been her gift. Maybe, right maybe there. it's still there because that was posted. It says three hours ago. Oh my God. I need Hopefully to Kristen is not watching. I could, she will love that. You'll be like, I got you that. this frame and it was free. Would she be happier that it was free because you like, got a good deal? She's very frugal. Yes, so I that's what. It. Perfect. Also trying to like say yes. I can't make a fist with these <laughs> nails. It stops me. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Dan, what, since you've moved here, has there anything been anything super weird or Portlandy that you've been like, what? This is a thing? Oh my goodness gracious. I, off. Off the top of my head, no, not really. I think it's, I would call it more eclectic than weird. Ooh, and okay. I really, really enjoyed it because I feel like this community has its own vibe and its own feeling. And if, if I blindfolded someone and dropped them off here, they'd know <laughs> they were in Portland. And I think that's, that's so great, true. great to know about a community. Just make sure when you blindfold them that you don't have them run into the Unipipe or usually, something. <laughs> I usually don't blindfold a lot of people. So right, if I good. do, I will make that sure. That is good. Have you ever um, gone to a Chippendales show? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have not, no. But oh, I, I thought I know, that was your, maybe going to be a yes for a well, second. Well, I know a lot of people who have. 
Well, put it to you that way. they hopefully are watching tonight's show because we do have guys like some of the Chippendales are over there just like doing stretches, getting ready to go. Yeah, they can they can teach you some things maybe for your five year anniversary. You know oh. what? It's like looking in a mirror. It's odd <laughs> to see off camera. You guys will see in just a minute. It's oh, identical. Yeah. You, you can. Exactly. You're like, is that Dan? I thought Dan uh -huh. left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> someone not identical to Dan or the Chippendales. Wait, how'd I do? How'd I do? It's a weird Great. step Great. It was step amazing. In. Yeah. Resident weird expert in training. Thank I you. loved it. Oh, Thank Nate you. is giving you a thumbs down down there. But, but <laughs> no, no. Surprise, surprise, Nate. All the camera. thumbs up. All, oh, there's the Chippendales. Hey. Look, see, there they are. I think that, yeah, there's Dan. Look, Dan appeared over there. <laughs> How'd you do that? How'd you get over there? So quickly. Oh, okay.